evening everyone, it's Friday. Um, I just wanted to do a check-in um, and say hello to everyone. Um, it's been five days for most of you uh, since we closed AUA properly. Um, it's a strange time. Um, I was there Monday to Wednesday, the building was empty by a couple of people and yeah, that's not what a school should really be like. Um, I know it's been difficult and I know a lot of you have contacted to say that you're bored or not sure what to do or in fact actually, you know, generally been quite upset about the news um, and everything that's happening around us and that's completely normal. Um, myself and my staff have been talking about it today and we feel exactly the same, you know, the enormity of the situation. Uh, is huge and it's really quite hard to comprehend and more importantly it's quite hard to con comprehend the length of this time I've had a couple of students today saying you know when are we going back and the simple answer is we don't know at the moment there's talk it could even be September um, and that posts you know some challenges for us it posts challenges in terms of um, you know the work but also the motivation I know already a lot of you've been getting online um, in the morning for your LRGs which is absolutely vital and it's really great to see your faces and I really enjoy dropping into those sessions and then my staff have found it fantastic to be able to say hello to you properly in the morning uh, and see you. Um, we've got to start thinking around as we move after Easter how do we ensure your progress uh, the danger is and I know I've seen it people are slipping into nocturnal habits watching those Netflix and all the rest of it late at night and then sleeping early in the day and that's the bad habit that you're getting into I've heard from parents you know it's hard it's hard looking after children at home it's hard having uh, everyone around and I've seen lots of funny joke uh, videos around people begging teachers you know what have we done wrong please take my children back and you know it is a tough job being a parent it's a tough job being a teacher uh, and now you're being expected to be the parent and the teacher and the babysitter and everything at home and I understand how difficult that is um, so you know we are going to be working quite hard as we move forward over Easter ready for what I call phase two phase two being post Easter how can we better support you as our job of teachers better support you as parents to go for the longevity now over the next few months to ensure that you do not learn uh, you don't learn sorry you do not lose sorry uh, your learning and your progress um, hopefully we'll see him as a big lot to uh, Miss, um, Miss Salisbury's video it's below down here if you point uh, down here on YouTube you should be able to see that where Miss Salisbury goes through and explains really clearly what's going on with the BTEC process at the moment we're also here in the early next week we should have some final clarity uh, in regards to the A levels uh, and GCSEs the way the grading is being worked uh, and that process is going on if I could also on a serious note please respectfully say to students don't use toot toot uh, our online reporting tool unless it's an emergency I've got staff designated by who are watching that to help support students who need it and it's for safeguarding reasons it's to say I need help my family needs help or you know we're isolated we can't get out there's no one who could bring us food you know what what can you do to help me that's what it's for it's not for chit chat it's not for silly questions we'll use those questions via your tutor if you need it but safeguarding is for toot toot um, as we sort of move, I've had a lot of resources sent to me from lots of different places, lots of things have been made free, which is wonderful. Um, but, you know, I spent the last two days working on my MBA for the university on online lessons, online Zoom conferences. It's hard working online for that amount of time. And therefore, it's quite important as we move into phase two and from resources I send you, we start to provide you some opportunities to work offline. You can print stuff, that you can be able to um, complete that work away from your computer um, and minimise your time that you spend online. That's one of the things we're start trying to work towards. Uh, what we're also doing is we're building some of those uh, materials now. I'm just going to share my screen with you now. You'll see our main website. Uh, on our main website, we've got um, uh, the main information lands on here. I'll remind you if you click on it, or if you go straight to principal's messages, uh, apart from my horrible picture, it will load the very latest update from me. I keep that updated every day, and at least every other day is going forward after Easter, you'll see an update of what's going on, what's the information around uh, from the DfE. Any communication was also appears on here that we've ever sent out linked to coronavirus. DfE updates are on here, plus all my previous messages as well. So do use this page to keep up to date. Uh, I remind you on Monday we're closed, AUA is closed, um, because no one booked in today. Um, you know, I absolutely um, confirm that you know, we remain committed to provide that service for any key critical worker parent uh, and any parent of a vulnerable child. All you need to do is book 
the prior day or on the Friday to Monday um, via Ruth Acton, please, the um, assistant head. Ruth Acton at AUEA.co.uk. Oh, start again. Ruth Acton.AUEA.co.uk. The information's here on the website uh, for you. So we remain committed. I will open the school if need be, but clearly it's not appropriate for me to open the school if I've got nobody attending. It puts people higher at risk. And we've, he we've heard sadly today the big increase yesterday across the UK in deaths. We've heard about Birmingham being a real um, hot spot at the moment following on from on London. It is really concerning and therefore, you know, I really do encourage you, yes, get your fresh air, but absolutely make sure that you're um, staying in and you're being safe and looking after yourself. The other place I wanted to show you online then please is um, the new area. If you go into the contact section, you'll find two new pages, student home learning resources and parent home learning resources. These have been designed that will start to build and any information that comes into us rather than keep bombarding you with emails, um, we'll put them into one central location. So parent resources here, eSafety, the new competition from the um, big ideas engineering companies on there as well for you. A little bit of duplication, but also additional ones on student home learning. For example, STEM learning has got loads of resources on. If I show you, click on there, it's got lots of different practicals, even practicals that you can do at home uh, whilst you're in your kitchen. Uh, lots of secondary stuff, some few secondary practicals and other things for you uh, to go through complete. Really nice resource. Uh, Eton College, uh, private school, you know, mostly a lot of MPs, very famous, a lot very expensive in fairness, have released their um, future skills courses available for you. So again, if you click on the link, it will take you through and you can sign on. These courses are fantastic for sixth form, uh, really good for year 12s and year 13s, 14s, developing for university, for UCAS uh, and for working towards interviews as well. So have a look at those, have a go and complete. How can you use this time to better your Self. So really quite impressive uh, stuff going on. So if I get myself back to my screen now, I always fail this every single time. Stop that share, I should bring it back. So I'll say goodbye. Have a safe weekend. Look after yourselves, look after your family. If you need any support, we're here for students, for parents. Uh, just get in contact and I look forward to seeing you next week uh, as we head towards Easter. Take care. Thank you.